So I sense you're about to tell me something about Trump. Is he running? That, well, uh, that, that's not what I'm going to tell you, but I'm confident he is going to run. I, I'd be shocked oh, if he oh, didn't okay, run. Okay, so that I, don't, I don't know anything any more okay. than anybody else knows about that. But there I thought was, maybe he announced but the there was, you were There was okay. an FBI raid at Mar-a-Lago. Uh, a warrant was taken out. Uh, a warrant is uh, supported by an affidavit. Uh, and a judge, a uh, U.S. district judge, his name is Bruce Reinhardt, executed a warrant. Uh, and at 9.30 or so in the morning, uh, around, I think it was the 8th or so of this month, of, of August, about 9 or 10 FBI agents swarmed in on Mar-a-Lago and went through the Trump residence and removed about 15 boxes of information. At first, we didn't know what they removed. Uh, Trump wanted the list of stuff revealed. He wanted the warrant uh, unsealed and revealed. Uh, and then he wanted the underlying affidavit unsealed and published, all of which ultimately happened. These are all unprecedented for the warrant to, re to be revealed, let alone the underlying, underlying affidavit, and that's to protect the, in, in, the investigation. Uh, that's why they don't want it revealed. And apparently- Wait, wait can I pause you for one mm -hmm. second just to understand the story? So, so they raid, does it immediately break that they did it, or did people find out um, later? Like, did people know that day? It, it, it's hard to say when it broke, but it broke It broke fairly quickly. Yeah. Keep in mind, Trump has uh, cameras everywhere. And, and he Trump, lives, Trump, at, Trump, he Trump lives was, there, was, right? Trump was not there. Right. But Trump he, was not there, uh, Melania was not there, he was elsewhere, but he was watching the raid, apparently, uh, on video, Jesus. and that video has not been released yet. But he was watching it. Uh, his son, Eric, found out about it, contacted his dad, and told his dad it was going on. When this happened, exactly, I can't tell you, but the news broke within hours or so of this of this raid. So they basically just busted in. If he if he's not there, I mean, right, that's right. They 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 went in. Um, they were armed, um, and uh, around eight or nine agents came there, and um, this was never happened before. And based on the revealing of the warrant, revealing of the underlying affidavit, revealing of commentary that I, of people I respect, he is accused, Trump, uh, of having probable cause to violate the Espionage Act by removing information pertaining to national secrets, national security from the White House when he left the White House. Uh, he's accused of um, violating an act that uh, prohibits you from destroying sensitive government documents, and he's, uh, and he's accused, at least there's probable cause, that he committed obstruction of justice. Apparently, 15 months ago or so, there was some back and forth about documents that he removed, and some of them were, were returned, and it appeared that they were voluntarily, they meaning uh, the FBI, the National Archives, working with Trump lawyers about what he took, and normally when a president leaves, the president often takes documents that are perceived to be documents he shouldn't have removed, and mm -hmm. you work it out. Right. This was not worked out. And a lot of people feel that there's a double standard here. It should have been worked out. Uh, Garland gave a statement, unusual, after this happened because half the country was, was, was on fire, not on fire physically, but just angry, and said that um, we always try to get these things resolved in the least invasive fashion, and he suggested that Donald Trump was being difficult, uh, refusing to turn over documents he should have turned over, so we had no choice but to do this. And God, this sounds like just such an extension of all the stupidity. So, uh, wait, so they're accusing him of taking a bunch of stuff, so they bust in there, they take the documents, have the documents been released? When you say bust in, I don't think they knocked down a door, but I think they knocked on the door at 9.30. Uh, nobody got a heads up. Trump's, two of Trump's lawyers were there, but they were not allowed in to witness the search, but they were at, in, in the house when it happened. They weren't allowed in to witness the they search? Were, no. So they can just basically, the FBI, is this how it, it's supposed to operate? They can just basically get into your house, take all your stuff, no one's allowed to witness when, when what there's, When doing? there's a warrant allowing you to search certain places, and uh, apparently they even searched Melania's wardrobe. Okay, so I would imagine uh, a lot of people are not happy about this. A lot of people I would are imagine very, Trump is fighting this. I mean, are, what's going on? A lot of like, people what's are very the upset. Uh, Trump uh, has now demanded that they appoint a, um, a, a marshal, an independent marshal, to go over all of the documents uh, underlying the warrant and to make sure that uh, what was done by the FBI is on the up and up. That's also unusual. So Trump has filed a motion to have an independent third party uh, take a look at everything the FBI did on that day to determine whether or not they should have done it. Man, they really don't want this guy running for president. Like that, that. What else could this possibly be about? Like, does he really have documents there that he wasn't well, supposed that's, to take? Well, that's, that's unclear. And I yeah. tell you somebody that I look at a lot when these kinds of things happen, because I think he's fair, and that's uh, Andrew McCarthy on mm -hmm. Fox. Mm -hmm. He's not uh, a Trump guy, but he doesn't hate Trump. And he's a former U.S. attorney. 
Uh, and he wrote a very long piece uh, that came out a couple of days ago in the National Review and said Trump probably took documents he shouldn't have taken. Trump, pro Trump probably was uncooperative. Trump probably made public statements about whether he was cooperative when in fact he probably wasn't. Uh, and there may be an indictment forthcoming uh, accusing him of violating the Espionage Act, violating the act that I said earlier that forbids you from destroying government documents and accusing him of obstruction of justice. He now believes that there may be an indictment coming. Alan Dershowitz, angry about the whole things, feels that there won't be an indictment, feels that this is double standard. Elder feels it's double standard right. for a couple of reasons. Hillary, as you know, clearly violated the Espionage Act. She had an unsecured had server, server yeah. in her basement. Bleach, bleach. On which she sent and received information that was classified, denied that she did, turns out she did, and then later on she said that um, she never sent or received information that was stamped as classified. She lied and said, and, and it turns out she did. And as you know, James Comey did this big presentation and talked about how careless she was, how reckless she was, but at the last minute he says, but she lacked the intent. Right. Well, the relevant part of the statute, Dave, does not require intent. <laughs> And so a whole right. bunch of us, right. and you I'm can't a lawyer, just do a bunch a of lawyer, bad yeah. stuff and not have intent. And then you have okay. uh, Eric Holder. Eric right. Holder was under a subpoena to turn over documents pertaining to Fast and Furious. That was a gun walking thing that, um, for some reason, the government did, presumably to trace where these guns were going and to bust the cartels for buying these guns. Well, the guns got loose, and at least one of them was used to kill a, a Border Patrol agent. And so uh, Eric Holder was subpoenaed by Congress to turn over the documents. He didn't do them, didn't do it. He was found in criminal contempt of Congress. The first and only AG to be to done to have done so. Republicans took him to court, and over a course of five years, Holder was able to negotiate back and forth. Ultimately, turned over the documents. We think. Um, and, and okay, so uh, wait, wait, wait. I get the double standard, right? Like, well, one more, one no more. doubt. Sandy, yeah. Sandy Berger, remember yeah. that one? Uh, that was he was Bill Clinton's national security uh, yeah, advisor, yeah. and uh, Congress was conducting hearings on whether or not Bill Clinton, this is before nine, after 9/11, might have known something or should have done something to have stopped it. So Berger goes to the National Archives, steals documents, oh, right. stuffs them in his pants, gets busted, and got a slap on the wrist. And so these are just three examples where, in my opinion, if we were being consistent, uh, they should have been punished far more harshly. Hillary wasn't punished at all. And as you pointed out, destroyed a bunch of uh, documents that were under subpoena, used bleach bit, uh, bleach bit yeah. and got rid of all of them, and, and nothing happened to her. So even if Donald Trump, my long way of saying, even if Trump <laughs> took documents he shouldn't have taken, even if he's uncooperative, how is it you came down on him with a hammer and those guys got a pass? Right, so okay, so the double standard thing, that's just standard stuff, right? Mm -hmm. we, we're, we're used to this, right. you know, you're on the left, you're gonna get the pass, you're in on the, you know, it's basically a mafia game where if you're all in on it together, you let your people off and you always go for everybody else. So is the country just insane right now? I mean, basically, when this happened, I now I assume that just lit a fire under it, MAGA. It, it did. And is MSNBC and CNN saying, wait, are the walls closing in yeah. on the guy? The walls are closing course, in? We, These we, are freaking we, walls, we, man. We, we got you now. We got you now. That's exactly what <laughs> is they're that saying. What, yeah. That's exactly what you're saying. And, if you and talk, is this story still burning hot right yes, now? Because you yes. said, what did you say, on the 8th or so? 8th or 9th, something like that? Uh, it happened about about a month ago, not quite a month yeah, ago. Yeah, okay. And right now, the issue is whether there'll be some independent uh, uh, magistrate or marshal, or I forget the term, to look at all of this to determine whether or not it, it, should, it was fair. If you talk, God, if you cut they on- They want to make him Jesus. If you That's cut on CNN, do, you cut idiots. on CNN and cut on MSNBC, all their lawyers say, Donald Trump should not have taken these documents. Uh, it was outrageous for him to take the documents. This is a guy who does not play by the rules, and uh, he got what, he's de what he deserves. Do, do we know what any of the documents are, though? Like, do we actually know, okay, there is a document in there that had some secret well, stuff yeah, and the yeah, KFC there, there, recipe? There was, a, there was a list of all the stuff that was taken out, uh, although the affidavit underlying the warrant was heavily redacted. I mean, you look at the sheet, there's a bunch of black stuff all <laughs> over there, so you're not sure exactly what it is they, right. they were looking for or what it is they have. Um, but um, it does not appear that... Um, we still know. We right. still, still a lot we don't know. 